Um, just turning the page, can you give us your thoughts on the big fight coming out May 4th? Canelo versus Jacob. So how do you see a play now? Canelo Jacob is a very good fight. I mean, he's a real good boxer. Like long jab against uh, you know, a pressure fighter who punches very well. It's a, it's a, it's a fight I, I'm really happy this fight is happening because that's one of the cases with the, the, the best fight, the best that he, no qualms and they're fighting each other. And we need more of that in, in our game. We really do. I mean, you know, if they don't want the UFC and those other sports to take over, they better start letting these guys fight each other. Who do you favor in that fight? Do you, how do you think they're going to separate at the, at the end of the day? In that fight, that fight, um, you know, you had to be a great boxer against a great puncher. You couldn't ask for a better formula for a great fight. I think the fight's gonna turn out really well, and uh, you know, um, one. One, one of the guys is my friend and one I don't know. So uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hope for my friend. Hey, Fred, you, Freddie, you knew, like you, you watched, Ch you, you were still active when Chavez was on top. You you were across the corner from Morales and Pat and Mara uh, Marquez and Barrera. Is Canelo that good? Is he on that level with Barrera and Morales and Marquez? I think Canelo can box, he can punch, he can move. He can move for 12 rounds or he can attack for 12 rounds. One of the most complete fighters out there today. Um, he's not my favorite person in the world. <laughs> I mean, uh, but I just think he might be the best fighter in the world today, though. And that, I mean, uh, maybe uh, there's only maybe one guy that can maybe throw that out was, would be the uh, the winner of the the cruiserweight championship. That tournament they had. Who said? Usyk is a great man. He's a very intelligent fighter himself. And uh, he might be the best fighter overall in the world. I'm not sure yet. I haven't seen enough of him, to be honest with you. Is, is he going to run into problems at heavyweight, though? Fighting guys five inches taller? I believe he'll have trouble at the heavyweight. But the thing about him, though, don't take him lightly. If you do, you are making a mistake. You know, that's what I say about Tyson Fury all the time too. Don't take him lightly because he's one of those, he's one of those guys. He can beat anyone in the world on a given night. Will you be working with him for for his fight coming up in Vegas? Uh, no word yet, but um, yeah. so he uh, he did ask me if he wants to use my gym, so he does like my gym. So we'll see. You still see him as the best heavyweight? He's not the no, I don't think he's the best heavyweight. But again, he's the guy that you don't take him lightly though. Because I mean, you, be, you have to get ready for him. Because he's, he's, he's a durable guy. Thanks so much, Freddie. And uh, see you April 26th with your fighter, Jesse Vargas. Thank you. Thanks, Freddie.